My name is Asha McMillan. I teach kindergarten. This is my second year teaching the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. I began as part of our global program at our school through Participate. I became very intrigued. And from there, I started learning more about them on my own. At the beginning of our school year, I work with a team of four kindergarten teachers. We sat down and picked out some of the sustainable development goals that we thought would be appropriate to begin working within kindergarten. We set a goal and an outcome that we wanted our students to reach, and we've been working toward that throughout the year. We've been working a lot with the first two SDGs, which are no poverty and zero hunger. These are goals that are a little bit more relatable for the younger students, something that they might be able to connect to and develop an understanding of before moving into some of the goals that have a, a deeper message to them. I'm so excited because we've been working on a project this year. Last year was new and we just kind of dipped our toes in and got a feeling, but it was more localized in the classroom. We read books, we talked about it, we came up with ideas of what we could do, but we didn't really get a chance to take action. So this year we created a service project where the kindergartners were going to do a full circle action-based project based off of those two SDGs. And we just completed it, and it was a very exciting time, and the kids learned a lot and really enjoyed actually being able to be a part of something bigger than just our classroom. And we started off by looking for literature that connected to those topics. So I found several books, and read. we read them as a class. We had discussions about the topics of hunger and we related that to what we have learned about our wants and needs and about jobs and money and how sometimes we don't always have the money we need for the things that we need to survive. And that was kind of hard for some of the kindergartners to grasp at first. Their understanding of needs are that if you need food to live, you should have food available to you. So we kind of got into some deep conversations about that. We posed the question to them of what can we do to help? And we talked about how in our own community, starting local can lead to global. So starting in our local community, there are a lot of families who have and experience hunger and that there are programs that can help. So once they knew that, we moved forward with starting a food drive and all of the kindergarten students and their families collected food donations and we did that for a few weeks. The next step was to deliver those food donations to the local organization. They explained to the students what they do and how they help. They provide weekend food bags throughout the area that we live in, including our own school building. And the students were able to help pack those bags and prep the materials for those food bags. And the final step of the project is that they are helping the person at our school responsible for passing out the food bags to pass them out to each classroom that has students participating in that program. So while it's anonymous and they don't know what other students are getting those bags, they're still helping somebody in their own school. And they've taken what they've learned about hunger and applied empathy and took action to help make a change and to help provide those students experiencing hunger with food for their families. My students have really been affected by our time learning about the Sustainable Development Goals. As teachers, we strive to inspire. And what I want to come out of this for my students is that that inspiration is going to drive passion, and then passion will drive advocacy, and that advocacy will drive change. And I think this works and applies for the five-year-olds I work with, or it could work and apply to 16-year-olds in high school.